raw nature. Hi. Today we're at the Trails End Ranch in the Porcupine Hills in Alberta. And today we're going to draw a very, very important uh, animal uh, to all of us, especially here in Alberta, and that is the cow. So, let's draw a cow. Okay, welcome back to Let's Draw Nature. Today, uh, as I mentioned, we're going to be drawing a cow. And uh, what you'll need today is your HB pencil and uh, a kneaded eraser if you have one. You can get one of these at uh, an art supply store or um, Michael's if there's ones close by. Also, um, <clears throat> you've got a Kleenex for, uh, for shading, if you remember that. And uh, if it's a cold day there, make yourself, uh, make yourself a cup of tea like I did. Okay, so let's get to it. And uh, today I've got a, I took this picture of a cow. I was at uh, Trails End Ranch a little while ago. And, um, and uh, oh, did I mention, I want, I would like you to do the, uh, put the page down landscape style. So this is, uh, this is hamburger style for, for the kids. And uh, so I'm going to start drawing, I think, uh, this big shape first. It's kind of a... Uh, he's got his... This cow's got its mouth open. And I'm looking at the shape around the side of the... Uh, or the negative shape or the space around the cow to get this kind of uh, shape here. Crown of its head's a little bit higher up here. And we've got an ear coming out kind of at this angle. So let's look at the shapes here and make sure we get all the shapes correct before we start thinking about the details. I'm pressing a little bit harder so you can see this, but you can make these lines <clears throat> a little bit lighter when you draw them. That way you'll be able to uh, erase them easily when, uh, when we start to change the, uh, the details. Okay. So I felt it was very important to honor the cow because the cow gives us so much and it sacrifices so much. I, I think about uh, everything that we eat, whether it be milk or uh, beef, um, cheese. All these things come from the cow. Yeah, I gotta change this angle a little bit. <clears throat> And uh, without the cow, I would cease to be. I would cease to exist. And uh, sure, sure, many of you wouldn't uh, wouldn't either. So, um, so last week or a couple of weeks ago, I guess now, I was out at the uh, <clears throat> Trails End Ranch in the Porcupine Hills here in Alberta. Uh, about an hour drive from where I live in Okotoks and uh, they invited me with uh, the Way Out West Fest to um, to do pen and ink drawings in uh, kind of the style of an artist I admire named uh, Charlie Russell. Now Charlie Russell is known in the West as the, the greatest uh, cowboy artist there ever was. Of course, without the cows, there would be no cowboys because cowboys uh, um, <clears throat> moved um, cattle and looked after cattle so that uh, we could, uh, we could uh, utilize them. And, and uh, anyway, Charlie Russell was a great 
great artist. Um, he came out to uh, from St. Louis in uh, I think in uh, the early 1900s and um, settled in Great Falls, Montana. He did some. He was a cowboy uh, for a while, and then he used his art skills. Became a great sculptor, um, great at drawing, uh, painting, all those things. He's quite uh, quite a famous artist. But what I love Charlie Russell for the best is that he uh, he really uh, respected and uh, honored uh, Indigenous people in his art and in his life. And uh, so I think, you know, <clears throat> it's more important to be a good person than it is to be a great artist. And I've known a few, few, uh, few great artists that were also great people. I'm thinking of uh, artists that have helped me. Um, along the way that have inspired me. People like uh, um, the ballet dancer Karen Kane and uh, great person and great artist and uh, people like the architect uh, Douglas Cardinal, great, great artist and also a very nice man. And uh, you know, so anyway, getting back to the cow. This cow was, uh, I don't know if this cow is annoyed in its mooing or if it's just, uh, just um, mooing because I'm right in front of it with a camera at that point, so. Okay, so I've got some some good negative shapes here and starting to shape up with the uh, with the shading. Yeah, we can start to throw in some shading now. Had a good day with uh, my grade twos and threes today. We drew the gopher. No, not the gopher, sorry. We drew the osprey today is what we drew. And it's amazing to me how many how you all will interpret this photograph uh, much differently than the person next to you. And and it's uh, October right now, so Everybody's getting a little bit excited about Halloween. They're asking me what I'm going to be this year. I'm not really sure. Maybe a cowboy. I've got all the hat and boots and all that stuff, but I'm not a not a real cowboy, that's for sure. Only ridden a horse a couple times, but uh, I've enjoyed watching them in the movies and whatnot, so. Okay, so I guess we're where uh, Charlie Rus Russell and I are quite similar is that uh, we love to draw, just like you probably do if you're watching these videos. I'm very, uh, I've been very um, happily surprised about these videos that um, they've been uh, watched in some faraway countries like Italy and Finland now and it seems like there's a lot of people like you out there that just like to draw, you find it relaxing. Okay. As I've said many times, uh, if you're seeing something in the photo that I'm not, don't necessarily follow me, follow the photo, the photo is more accurate. Uh, you're going to get a more accurate result by looking at it maybe than you are from uh, 
from me, but if what I'm doing is helpful to you, then that's great. Trails End Ranch is a beautiful ranch. The Porcupine Hills there, they're absolutely amazing. And uh, the, uh, the cattle there, the cows, they're treated very well. They have lots of room and uh, they have a very good uh, existence as, you know, for a cow. So they're treated well. When something is treated well, like a animal or person, particularly if uh, you're going to eat them, uh, you want them to be treated ethically. You want them to have a, a, as a good a life as they can. Okay, this one's got a kind of a star on its uh, on its face here. Kind of a tuft of fur. Now we can do the uh, we can do a little bit of smudging here with uh, Kleenex you've got some. And now I'm going to do a bunch of, uh, well, let's call it uh, backwards drawing because what we're doing is we're using the uh, eraser to, uh, to draw this way. That is if you have a kneaded eraser. If you don't, you can probably get away with using this, uh, this orange one too. It'll do the same thing. It's just that with the kneaded eraser, you'll be able to get at some uh, bigger areas. As I always say, you don't need a lot to uh, to draw. Sometimes it just takes a lot of uh, effort and uh, correction. You got to do a lot of corrections. Just like life, you have to constantly readjust. Constantly, we're all constantly correcting or or uh, learning and behavior, and that's. Just uh, natural. Until we get it right. Well, by right I mean you want it to, you want this cow to, to look as best as you can do it. And uh, we're, we're here to honor the cow today. So we want to do a Put our best effort in because like I say the cow's given us a lot if you've been to McDonald's a lot you should think about the cow that you're drawing right now because that's where the hamburgers come from it's from their meat so Maybe this uh, cow has got his mouth open. Maybe he's talking and I wasn't paying attention. I don't know. It's like he's saying something. Or she. She, I guess. Now the, the girl that showed me the cow at the ranch, Avery, she had uh, names for all these uh, cows, so I don't know what this one's name was. Maybe I can find out later.
Anyway, Avery introduced me to all these all these cows and she was a good good guide. Okay, I'm going to have a sip of tea. Feel free to, to pause the video, take a break. If you need a bathroom break or maybe you need a tea break. Get something to drink. I don't have music on because I want you to hear me while I'm drawing, but you can put some music on. Let's see his cheekbone right there. Quite a beautiful cow. I don't know what kind these are. They're red. I know that much. Almost forgot to tell you, uh, make sure you've got a sharpener close by. This is a good sharpener to use and keep your pencils nice and sharp while you're while you're working. That's gonna ensure that your drawing is as good as it can be. Now I can start to get a little bit more Pay a little bit more attention to detail because I've really got the big um, areas covered so we can start to get figure out a little bit more detail Remember what I told you I'm looking at as much as the shapes outside the cow than I am looking at the outline of the cow for accuracy sake. So you can see that top of his mouth actually comes out quite far here, farther than I thought. I'm very interested in when I'm out in the forest or rivers or whatever and I find skulls, I'm just absolutely fascinated by how, how um, different they are. How uh, the design of them. I always think, who designed that? What designed that? It's uh, just amazing. You know, it's probably uh, you've noticed that I, I generally start with the lines going this way from diagonally from left to right. If you're left-handed, you might be uh, 
you might be going this way and that's fine because uh, I'm going to start moving the pencil around the opposite direction too and that's called uh, cross hatching it's going to make it darker and that's a really good technique to learn the lines going this way and that way when you start working in pen and ink I don't get tired very often when I'm drawing because I really enjoy it. And those of you that are hanging with me and you're watching every video and you're doing this all the time, you're probably pretty much the same as I was, I'm guessing. You'll probably want to draw all your life. Every time you look at the, the photo, you're going to see something different. You're going to see something that you missed. Just keep at it, keep at it, keep at it until it starts to, to look like uh, the drawing starts to look like it. And you know, people say, well, how do you draw fur? How do you do that? Well, just look at the shapes first. Don't worry about every individual piece of fur. When you become a painter, there's techniques that, uh, that you can do it uh, really quickly and uh, make it look just like fur. But for drawing, just try and do where the darks and lights are. So I'll sharpen here. We got, uh, my wife and I got on the horse last uh, week on a trail ride and we got to ride with one of the greatest uh, horse uh, horse people, horse women, horse trainers that there is and that's Cub Ride and she took us out on the trail and uh, got, to, got to ride in uh, the mountains. And uh, we uh, came upon an elk hunting camp and the guy there had said that there was three or four grizzlies up the trail. So uh, because um, I've worked in the mountains before cutting trail when I was young and I uh, was quite terrified of grizzly bears, I think rightly so. Um, that kind of ended our trip and we turned back. We went a little bit further down the trail and there was fresh fresh grizzly tracks. The elk guide has, had said that there was uh, four of them. One was really big and then there was three others so that was enough for me because I'd never been on a horse and really too much and neither had my wife and we really didn't even though we were on horses and could probably get away, um, 
I don't think that uh, I felt very confident about uh, our chances that day. Anyway, it was a lot of fun riding on the horse. I had a great horse named uh, Rooster. Oh, so the next, maybe after we draw a bat, maybe we'll draw, let's draw a grizzly, even though I didn't see one, I didn't want to. I can find a picture from maybe my friend Ken. He's got a grizzly picture. He doesn't, he's not scared of them, so he's probably got some photos that I could work from. Funny enough, I'm less afraid of a cougar than I am a grizzly, even though I've seen them. I don't know why that is. I guess it would depend on the size. Okay, it's been a pretty good effort today, so I think it's uh, the 10th month, uh, the 8th day, and 2020, we drew a cow today, and I'll put my signature on it. I feel good about this one, I took the picture for it and everything's totally original here, so there you go. Well, we'll see you, uh, see you next week.